If they can't get to the base, how can they possibly defend us? Our local military members have a big problem and her name is Mother Nature. When the roads here flood and that's pretty often, it's an issue. Now a local agency is partnering with the Pentagon to develop a new resiliency game plan. Military reporter Mike Gooding has the details. I think we're at the point now where, especially if you've lived here a couple of years, you can see that if we have high tide, and especially we have high tide plus some rain, that parts of the road system are flooded. And, uh, you know, it's a reality. Tidal flooding is not just a nuisance, it's a threat to national security, particularly if military warfighters can't get to their bases because local roads are underwater. We want the military to stay. They're a huge employer in the region, and anything we can do. Um, you know, to, to make working here better um, is something we're interested in. The Hampton Roads Planning District Commission is taking action. With a grant from the Department of Defense, it is launching a joint land use study focusing on nine Navy properties in Portsmouth and Chesapeake. Of specific concern is the Norfolk Naval Shipyard, the fourth largest employer in Hampton Roads with almost 11,000 workers. We're going to look at this collaboratively, analytically, and we're going to study this, figure out concrete solutions, and get on with it to get it done. There will be three public hearings next week. The first one is Wednesday, November 13th from 6 to 8 p.m. at Bidawi Golf Course Pavilion. Then there are two meetings on Thursday, November 14th from 1.30 to 3.30 p.m. at Churchland Library and from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. at the Major Hilliard Library. Mike Gooding, 13 News Now.